welcome back to the Wealth Boomerang Show. We're chatting to Eric Bailey. Eric's a professional basketballer who's played in the US and Australia and now coaching children on how to have the right mindset, how to achieve in all areas of their life. So what sort of quick lessons do you give to the teenage kids? I believe you've got a program that you actually... Yeah, I've just designed a program that's uh, going to be uh, released in September, which mm -hmm. is a uh, online program where students who join the program will actually get me physically um, on a video every Monday morning for five whole minutes of content. Uh, I'm going to be giving them um, exercises and tools and techniques to you know, overcome uh, objections, overcome fear. You know, I'm going to be talking to them about you know, how the proper way to take a test exam, how to you know, walk into a negative situation and turn into a positive situation. Be talking to them about how to believe in yourself, how to overcome fear. So I want to reach the kids on that whole social media side where they can, from a phone or from the computer or from a tablet, anywhere in the world, you know, oh, I'm feeling pretty bad today, they can just go and they can just press a button and here I am, l larger than life, right up in their grill, just right up in their grill, telling me just the way it is. They're going to have music, it's going to be fun, they're going to get newsletters, I'm going to do live webinars once a month where they can Q&A and really develop a community of, of kids between the age of 13 to 18 to really give them the resource that no matter what situation they're in, there's going to be a coach for them um, that they would be able to, to speak to and have uh, open-ended dialogue with them. Fantastic. So this is all online because you've got to be program. online. Here, if I can lift this one. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, that's, that's for corporate. That's for adults. This is a corporate one. That's, that's okay. a corporate program. So if you're a grown-up, you get this one? Yes. And the kids get the online That's one. online, yes. Fantastic. Yep. Fantastic. Uh, you, do, you do a lot of work with kids. And um, of all, all the speakers that I, I've known or I've seen, I think you actually talk the most. You travel around a lot of schools. Why is it so important for you? Is it just the gift that this was given to you by this coach? No, no, no. I think... One of the gifts that was given to me from this coach was the sense of knowing that, okay, he saw something in me which developed into what you see now. And I made a promise not only to him but to myself uh, once I got to college, for me was the pinnacle, was that if I ever got into a position where I could influence the lives of other young people to emulate and duplicate what I have done, I will try to do that to the best of my ability. And, you know, coming to Australia and playing professional basketball and then being in a position where, you know, I did have some success, I wanted to give other young Australian young people uh, a sense of what's possible. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that it would snowball to the effect where now I'm traveling around the world. You know, I've spoken to over three million people. I've been to 10 different countries. Um, I get requests from all over the world to come and speak. That was not my intention. Uh, but now that I'm doing that, I want to make it more easy for people to access me, and hence we go online with a program for, for teenagers, hence why we do a DVD pack and we do a lot of different things online. So um, I'm blessed. I've been in a position to, to use my gifts, and until I die, that's what I want to do. Uh, you, you're very physically fit. You're still active, still playing sport, and you have this pure diet, no alcohol, no, no chocolates and that sort of stuff. Okay, I wouldn't say pure, no chocolate. <laughs> Every now and again, I do slip some chocolate in there. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. That's the good stuff. Yeah. Right? The good stuff, not the cheap stuff. Yeah. How, how important is the mindset? What do you do for your mindset? Do you meditate? Do you hang out with positive people? Do you read a lot of books? How do you keep yourself focused? Okay, one of the first things that I do is I limit the amount of time that I spend watching television. Because television, I think, is a conjugate of nothing but a lot of negativity. Everything but this show. Oh, your, show, your, yeah, yeah. your show is all positive. I, mean, I could watch this all day long. Don't get me wrong, okay? The other thing is I do do a lot of reading of, of, of uh, positive uh, affirmations. Mm -hmm. uh, I spend a lot of time, uh, I guess, working on myself. I understand what my shortcomings are, and I make sure I work on that. Um, I do pray and meditate because uh, I think it's really good to get yourself away from the noise and really clue in on the here and the now. Um, and, I, and I eat reasonably well. I go to the gym, I do work out. Um, so I try to keep this temple mm -hmm. in the best possible shape that I can. Okay. Uh, you, you've played alongside um, Shaquille O'Neal, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, these sort of guys. Do they follow a similar routine to you? Do they keep the body pure and the mind pure? Or? I met, I met, uh, Magic Johnson, when he first came into the NBA, I got a chance to play with him in the summer leagues in South Central Los Angeles. Uh, played against Michael Jordan once. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal actually worked with him 
uh, with, with Reebok. So I actually toured around Southeast Asia and Australia. I got a chance to see what they do. And one of the things I was fascinated is that when they weren't working openly in the public, they were working on their game. They were training, they were watching videos, they were reading, they, they were making sure that they were doing everything they could when they weren't actually physically playing to elevate their game to another level. And I like to use an example of watching Michael Jordan after a game play a phenomenal game. Instead of going home and partying and going out and drinking and all that, I watched him come back on the court after the game was over and he worked on some missed free throws that he had missed during the game while everybody else was out doing their thing. That told me that when the best player on the universe wasn't happy with just being great, mm. he wanted to still elevate his game to another level. What does that do for you and I, who are not at the level that we need to be, mm. but sometimes we get comfortable with having pretty good results and we pat ourselves on the back and go, all right, I'm there now, we're not there. And also a thing I learned from him was that once you stop wanting to be better than how you are now, you're dead. Okay. Well, That's my philosophy. No, but you, you've played professionally. You've, you've been the, the sporting legend. You've spoken around thousands of places. You've spoken before three million people. What's next for Eric Bailey? You know what? What I'm doing right now, this is what I get the most joy out of. Um, as long as I can continue to do this and have the, the benefits of people coming up and saying, you know, my life has been has elevated. You know, we're happy with what we're doing. You, you, you've caused an effect in our life. For me, it doesn't get any better. Um, I now have a grandson. So now what I want to do is to impart this knowledge and this passion and this energy into my grandson so that hopefully that he could grow up and develop the skills and techniques and strategies to take his life to another level. Fantastic. We're running out of time. I just want to point out that don't ever call Eric Bailey a motivational speaker. No. He tells people he's an activational, activational. speaker. He gets people into action. That's rather right. Than just pumping up the mindset. Great point. So thank you so much, Eric, for coming on the show today. Uh, he's got programs for teens. He's got programs for athletes. He's got programs for business owners. Anybody who needs to get into action and follow those steps, go to all the W's, Eric Bailey, E-R-I-C-B-A-I-L-E-Y, ericbaileyglobal.com. Yes. And thank you for watching the Wealth Boomerang Show. Every week we profile someone who has boomeranged back and created their own wealth in their own way. Make sure you connect with us on Facebook to join the discussion about the show, ask questions of the guests, or suggest guests that you'd like to see on the show. Coming up on Wealth Boomerang TV Show, we feature some of the most popular guests from the Wealth Boomerang New York radio show, as well as some surprise Australian guests based on your suggestions. Make sure you book yourself in to watch the next show. And remember that whatever you send out comes back to you. Your wealth is whatever you value and your wealth is whatever you say it is. Good night, Brisbane. Good night, Asha My Rose. Daddy loves you. And we'll see you soon for another Wealth Boomerang Show. It really matters what you think. It also matters what you do. So if your brain waves don't just sink, what you send out comes back to you. you.